Hello and welcome to another Facts and Dimensions Spotlight data set. In this one we're covering critical care bed capacity and urgent operations cancelled. Um, there's two pages, critical care beds, which as you can see to this notice, and pause the video to read it, uh, they paused that in um, March 2020, uh, but they continue providing data here in the urgent and emergency care daily situation reports. Um, I don't know if they're going to start the critical care bed one again, but because it's been quite a while, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm doing both in this one video. So with the two uh, schemas, we've got data going back to 2010, so well over a decade of data, over a million rows of data across 17 tables. A um, couple of them in the critical care schema, and then the rest are in urgent and emergency care. I've, uh, I'll show you the, these two because they have different types of metrics in them. The, the rest is mainly sort of a single metric, which you can see from the table name. If you just pause the video and have a read, you can see what that is. Uh, critical care beds, you've got these uh, different metrics. And critical care cancelled operations, you've got urgent operations cancelled and urgent operations cancelled for the second time or more. Uh, if you want to see much more detail, then ask us for a, a login for a free trial and you can have a play. 